Michael here, your Yoruba named Aquaibum Girl, welcoming you to Go Local. We took a trip down to the town of Kenta, in the heart of Abiokuta, where we met with the Otu Yaloja of Kenta Kampala Market and a few traders. I am the Otu Yaloja of Kinsa Adiro Kampala Market. Yeah, good afternoon. My name is Kaka Aisha Rimuloku. Adiro was once, and still is, a closely guarded family secret in Egba land. Parents carefully taught the techniques to their daughters and the wives to their sons. This tradition was so sacred that outsiders were initially barred from participating. As a direct production echoed the whispers of a family's heritage. Yes, my grandmom did it, my mom did it, and now to me. And I, by the grace of God, my children are still on it also. They're learning. They've learned it. They are, they are growing up, they are, they've married, and they are doing this business. Okay. And they are educated also. Yes. At least I have PAD, but among them. I have BSc among them, but I made this business of costume for them. They have fashion for it because it's something they are they grew up with. It's a family thing. So, so my mom do, my grandma, you know, I was born into it. So after schooling, you know, the challenges in the economy, you know, have to come back into the business. Different countries go through challenges. Our motherland, Nigeria, Show has her fair share of those. In these trying times, the Adira makers and producers are also affected by several challenges. The challenges that we are facing presently is the material we are using. using. You see, they are not producing the material, the clothes, in Nigeria now. Most of the industries that produce it, like uh, Caspia Textile, United Textile, they are fold up. So the white material that we are using now, the brocade, is from China. And by the you see the dollar is moving up. So it's made the price to cost now. Before when they are producing it in Nigeria, we do buy it like hundred thousand per bill. Even it was fifty five before. It's jumped to hundred thousand. Now it's six hundred thousand per bill. So it's very expensive, presently. Then secondly, the dye that we are using is not made in Nigeria. It's an imported also. So the price has rise up. Even the common candle that we are using is now expensive. It's not made in Nigeria. We are imported. We call it paraffin wax. So with the price now that moves up, it affects the production. You see, when we produce it fully, the price will rise up. There are some we are selling before 880, 880. It's now like 15,000. 15, 20,000. So those are the problems we face now. Now, this is a call to action for the government to go ahead and invest in infrastructure. Because quite sure, these companies that produce the white cloth used for a dire making would not fold up if the right infrastructures were put in place. Now, this is your sign to go local, buy local, and stay global. Visit any shop, or you can take that trip down to Abiyokuta and shop for some Adire products. To be part of this podcast, send an email to customer care at businessday.ng with the title Go Local Podcast. And we will be there to answer all your questions. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at Business Day NG.